so here is a website that i have opened uh, it's a it has a very nice animation of the concept uh, it's by frank mccong as you can see um, it, there's a beautiful description of the model and a, a very nice simulation of the model as well if you can see in the acknowledgement in fact the uh, the creator of this simulation acknowledges the textbook that we we are using for the um, uh, course networks clouds and markets all right so here is the uh, simulation facility let me hit the reset button and as you would have guessed the red and blue here denote two different types of people who have populated this city and white represents blank where anybody can shift so here are some parameters which are again uh, which are again quite self explanatory although i'll try explaining them for you so uh, this is this stands for how similar do you expect the uh, how how similar do each node expect their neighbors if i put 25% here it is the t value that i explained just now the t value i said t equals 3 if it's 25% i am surrounded by as you know eight people 25% of 8 people is how much uh, 8 into 1 by 4 which is 2 so if any person has two neighbors of the same color then he is deemed to be happy and satisfied he will not shift and anyone who is not surrounded by um, at least two people of the same color that person will try to shift to a blank space okay and the rest is uh, the distribution of red and blue it's the same when i say 50 50 you can in fact change it empty space i have kept some 10% you can in fact change this to size is a 50 cross 50 grid delay is the delay between two steps of the animation i have kept it zero so let me reset it once again and then let me start the simulation as i start you will see that the number of people who are satisfied will be displayed here as of now nobody is satisfied it says 0% people are satisfied which means nobody is surrounded by uh, at least 25% of uh, people who are happy no basically once you start the animation only this will start counting as you can see i hit the start button and you see 100% people are satisfied it took just eight rounds as you can see every single person is surrounded by at least two neighbors of his type that's the similarity percentage that i gave t equals basically 2 now let me make t equals 4 which is 50% out of 8 people whom i know i would expect half of them to be of my type hit the reset and then start the simulation and see the beautiful convergence of segregation that happens here right now i hit the start button now please observe look at this they getting segregated and you see there is some beautiful segregation happening here right when you expect half the people to be of your type you observe segregation happening right let me try increasing it all the more reset and increase this to let's say 75% what do you expect now now let, let's pause for a minute and then see what 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 am i doing here i'm saying 75% of my neighborhood should be of my type which means if you take a blue um uh, red uh, uh, cell here uh, i should have at least more than uh, what is 75% of eight neighbors it is six this red person should have six people surrounding him only then he is redeemed happy otherwise he would want to shift which means as you can see none of them are happy here right let me start the simulation and see what happens see they are now moving moving to the empty spaces um now roughly 50% of the people are happy and then it goes on and on look at the beautiful segregation that's happening see more and more people get segregated and there are clusters that are emerging you see a huge blue cluster here and a red cluster here and you see 80% people are happy you see this tick more and more correct you see that the segregation is beautifully going towards 100% now very soon you will see all of them are actually happy as you can see the number of rounds here in this case when similarity percentage is high when t is high seems to take a lot of time you see the some problem in the boundary now it converges beautifully you see there's basically simply three clusters cluster 1 i'm sorry four clusters cluster 1 cluster 2 
cluster 3 and cluster 4. Of course, you have clusters here as well, but um, um, I think we can ignore it. Right? So basically, there are four big clusters. So the simulation says that more the similarity that you expect, better is the segregation. If you actually, I, I'm sure you would know what you can guess what will happen if I make it 89%. It will probably take a long time, but let's see what happens from here. You see, you see, people become less and less satisfied because 89% is what it is not achievable. As you know, 89% um, is uh, more than seven people should be of your type. I mean, that's not possible, right? Not even more than seven, almost, almost eight people, all your neighbors should be of your type. That's not possible. So it is a sort of simulation gets confused. This might even go forever. Um, so if you sort of reduce it, you'll observe that the convergence happens very quickly. Reset, start for 30%, it's very quick. Yeah, thanks to the creator of the simulation. Uh, we can explain this very easily with the simulation than um, uh, verbal explanation. Also, it is interesting to note that uh, the people have uh, not understood this mathematically really well. How exactly this happens? How is it a function of this uh, similarity percentage? And how does the clustering come by? Although it's commonsensical, but uh, the exact mathematical details of it is not very well known.